Hi, my name is Bramis, Chrome Developer Relations Engineer here at Google, and this is Unleash the Power of Scroll-Driven Animations. Look at these columns right here. Something funny is going on. As I scroll, some columns scroll in the opposite direction. Or take this page right here. As I scroll down, one section scrolls horizontally. Is this scroll chaining or some other type of sorcery? Nope, it's scroll-driven animations. The basic layout for the reverse column page is done using CSS Grid. Inside each column, the items are positioned using CSS Flexbox. In browsers that support CSS scroll-driven animations, the column reverse columns are shifted up by translating them by minus 100%. As they are now entirely off-screen, I add 100VH back to it to pull them back into view. That way, their bottom edge touches the bottom edge of the viewport, as you can see in this visualization. First, the boxes get pulled up by minus 100%, and then they get pushed down again by 100VH. Additionally, as the columns will be scrolling in reverse direction, the order for the items inside each column needs to be reversed as well. That way, the first item will be at the bottom of the reversed column. And finally, to prevent the wrapping columns from growing by the translation, I prevent the content from bleeding out of it using the overflow property. Here, I use overflow clip to prevent overflow from creating a scroll container. See the video about timeline lookup and timeline names for more details on this. The animation itself does a translation from the shifted up position towards the opposite direction. 100% down, but minus 100 VH to keep it on screen. The keyframes are attached to each reversed column, tracking the root scroller in the block direction. For this, the scroll function is used, creating an anonymous scroll timeline. And like that, the columns with column reverse class scroll in the opposite direction. To do the same with JavaScript, the approach is similar. Create a scroll timeline that tracks the root scroller and connect it to the first and third column. As for the horizontal section, something similar happens. The horizontal strip itself gets translated horizontally on scroll. To make it work, there's in total three elements that are needed. A wrapper element that gets stretched with a view timeline attached to it, the sticky wrapper, and the horizontal strip itself. Before I show you the code, here's a visualization of what's going on. As the wrapper, here given a hot pink outline, crosses the scroll port, the sticky element sticks to the viewport, and the horizontal strip with the dark background element translates horizontally as you continue to scroll down. Because the sticky element is a child of the wrapper, everything starts out of view along with that wrapper. So, the code. First of all, the wrapper section gets stretched to a height of 500 VH to create more scroll state. A view timeline is attached to it that tracks the element as it crosses the scroll port. Then, the intermediary element with the class sticky is made sticky, so that the horizontal strip stays in the viewport. And finally, the horizontal strip itself is made wider than the scroll port. The animation applied to it makes sure its right edge is at the right edge of the viewport when done. The used animation range here is the contain range. This plays out fine because the wrapper element is taller than the scroll port. See the video on timeline ranges for more details on this behavior. As for the JavaScript counterpart, the approach is exactly the same. Create a view timeline that tracks the wrapper element and use that as a timeline to translate the horizontal strip element. Cool. Thanks to scroll-driven animations, you are now able to have elements scroll in a different direction than the actively scrolled one. All in all, it doesn't take a lot of code, but admittedly, it does require a bit of orchestration on the surrounding elements to make sure their content doesn't overflow and whatnot. In the next video, I'll show you how to attach things other than animations, such as a video or 3D model, to a scroll timeline.